So I can't remember the last time I cleaned the upflow scrubber, uh, but I tore the tank down. Well, I tore, put all, took all the fish out and put them in their final resting homes. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and pull this all out. Just kind of, you can see inside the box, this is probably about a week and a half's worth of growth. And what happened was the bubble bar came detached from the suction cup, one of them down there. And uh, as you can see, it's, it's a little bit slimy this time. But anyways, I'm going to do a cleaning um, of the whole thing, put it back on. Let me get a better a focused shot of the screen there. There we go. And of course, the uh, I pulled the the one of the circ pumps, and uh, this is the feed pump, uh, which I'm going to clean that line out and uh, see if I can find more hose like this and maybe get a new one in there, and get rid of the ball valve and just let it flow wide open. All right. But as you can see, um, that's where the LEDs are, right here and here and here. And I don't know why this is torn off. I think that might just be from pulling the screen off. Um, let's see about the other side. Yeah, the other side is about the same. This is where the blue is right here, so you can tell that there's an intense spot where the reds, red, 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 blue. Uh, so that's on the upflow scrubber. So the great experiment. I'm going to leave this... Uh, on that tank downstairs with no bio load, no fish, just maybe a couple shrimp in there and some corals and see what happens over the course of a month or two or we'll see.